road tripping to Vermont and New Hampshire this weekend. And the leaves are the, like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I swear. Like, I know this is completely different and uncomparable, but like, is this prettier than the Maldives? I don't know, but this is insane. Insane. Like the most vibrant, beautiful mountains and like, oh my God. Like I'm, I've been crying for the past hour. Um, anyways, welcome back to my little travel vlogs from this travel assignment. Um, so I got off work this morning at 8 a.m., my fourth out of fourth shift for the week, and this is the peak weekend of the leaves in New Hampshire and Vermont, and I had the weekend off, and although I am exhausted beyond, like, any, like, fathomable, 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 not a word. I'm exhausted, but this is just like too insane to miss out on. Like I've never seen anything like this in my life. Um, I'm spending four days up here. I'm gonna have to work a frick ton when I get back, but this is so worth it. Like you have no idea what I'm looking at right now, but it is, it is insane. Like this is insane. It's so gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've seen pictures and I thought they were just all edited like a bunch to make it look like this, but no, like this is fully the most stunning views I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am running on zero sleep, but I am, mm, adrenaline is pumping, pumping. Oh my God. so exhausted in my fucking life um I didn't even think about this vlog today to be completely honest I just tried to stay awake enough and I fully enjoyed and was mesmerized by the colors and like what I saw today um but I'm finally it's now 7 45 p.m and I just made it to the little inn that I'm staying in about an hour north of um Woodstock and about 45 minutes south of Stowe so that's where I'm going tomorrow but I'll give you guys a little tour and then I'm not even gonna eat like I'm I'm so tired I'm not even hungry like I'm I'm just so dead so I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed this place is so cute they have like hot chocolate and like all these books and a fireplace upstairs so I will be going to get hot chocolate <laughs> okay Here's the little room. This is the smallest room that they have. It was the last room that I could find within like an 80 mile radius of like all of the big fall Vermont things. Um, but it's so cute. This inn is so cute. Um, but yeah, nothing special. It's just adorable little family run inn. Yeah. Here's my college dorm size bed. Um, I expect nothing less for the price that I'm paying for this. Just a little TV. Here's me. And then just a normal bath. And 
around. Oh my god. I literally look like I have died. I went to... This angle kind of sucks, but I'm in the parking lot of a coffee shop. So we're gonna have to make do. Um, I haven't vlogged yet this morning. It's currently 2 p.m. and I slept like a damn baby last night. It was the best sleep of my life. Um, so cozy. The place that I stayed, I'll insert like clips. It's called the White Horse Inn. Um, in Wattsfield, Vermont. It was so cute. It had like a little library and coffee shop and like the fire was going. And it was just like all the good vibes. Um, so I got up around eight, got ready, and then went to breakfast at a place called Eggs and Toast. Like so rustic and like just very like a hole in the, not hole in the wall, but like just like a small, like cafe breakfast spot the best breakfast sandwich of my life which it may have been the best breakfast sandwich of my life but also I didn't eat anything except for what I ate in Boston yesterday I literally got back to the inn and I was gonna order pizza or like get something and I was just so tired I didn't even eat like like I was prioritizing sleep I wanted to be asleep by nine and then I woke up at eight so I got 11 hours of sleep, so that's good. Um, but I got this breakfast sandwich. It had like garlic aioli on it. It was like sourdough. It was so good. And then now, and then I drove to Stowe and I just have to point out, like we should all be very surprised that I'm able to drive through these states. One, in the dark, which is impressive. But two, during the day is even more impressive because the mountains are just so gorgeous and so vibrant and like the colors are absolutely insane for me to pay attention to the road in front of me is just mind-blowing i mean it, it, it's amazing me um but i'm trying not to die so you know successful so far so i drove to stowe and as soon as i got here i went to old orchard what's it called I have the cup from them. Cold, I wasn't even close. Cold Hollow Orchard. orchard. Ugh. And I got this donut, an apple cider donut. It's good. The cider's really good. Best cider I've ever had. But the donut, I would still say that my like hometown little um, like farmer, not farmer's market, whatever, little like market is better than like the, their apple cider donut is better than this apple cider donut, but it's okay. Um, and then I drove to Smuggler's Nash. Got some insane pictures. It's freaking beautiful, and um, it's kind of raining now. So I went to a coffee shop and got this coffee. Which, by the way, the cups are freaking adorable. It's like Vermont in all of the seasons. And it's like painted on like skiing and hiking. Super cute. And now I am going to, honestly, like, there's like so much to just like look at. Like you just look at the little houses, you look at the horses and like the farms, the little shops. Like you just kind of walk and like drive past everything and that's what I'm doing with my day. And then hopefully when it stops raining, I'm gonna go on a gondola ride up the mountain of Mount Mansfield, I think it's called, and look at some views up there. 
and then by dark I want to start heading to my next destination which is New Hampshire and that's about an hour and a half drive um, east from here so it shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad that's kind of what I did last night from Woodstock I drove about an hour and a half to where I stayed last night so I'm going to finish my donut and hit the road it is like so cozy like parts of me wishes that I had a place here right now because so I would just nap until the sun came out or like install until it stopped raining but that's the one thing when you're a traveling nurse you're limited on your moments like this so you have to really take advantage of them so I'm taking advantage right now okay bye good morning it is a good day because I'm alive and you know I think that's always a, a good reason to wake up um, but it's a good day because I'm here in New Hampshire and my hotel room was so nice. Like, it's a very nice hotel, which is very uncommon for me because I usually book like cheap, very, oh my god, I have to say I usually book like cheaper places, but this place, I just wanted to be safe. I don't know the area at all. It's, there's not a lot of service in the state. I don't know, it's just like not a place where I would want any communication errors, like with Airbnb or Verbo. So I did, or VRBO, however you say it. So I did a nice hotel by Choice Hotels. Anyways, it was very cozy and very nice. And now I'm awake, it's 7.30. And I'm gonna get ready. It looks like it's a little drizzly and cloudy outside, which is fine, you can't expect beautiful sunny days um, every day in the fall. But I'm going to run down and get breakfast and then grab some coffee. And we got a lot of hiking on the schedule today. And we are going to see some freaking pretty views like I've seen the last two days, but still very excited. Very, very happy to be here. Last night, um, I don't really think I vlogged my ending because I was just so tired, but I grabbed a pizza and watched Netflix, edited uh, some Instagram stuff, and went to bed. So, good morning. Oh, I'll give you a little um, tour of the Airbnb really quick. I mean, the hotel. See, I'm so used to Airbnbs. I don't know why there's like a random sink, but nothing is made. It's like a huge room. They didn't have any kings, but I can use one bed for my luggage. A coffee maker, and the bathroom is very nice. And a mirror and a nice shower. So that is what we're working with, and I'm gonna get ready and we'll see you guys on the trail. So okay, just hiked up a cliff to look at this view. It's freaking insane. yesterday um but I did a sunset hike and got the most beautiful view I've ever seen in my life hands down 
in my life. Like I think, I think it's in my life. Yes, it was gorgeous. It's called Middle Sugar Loaf Trail. Um, very close to Bethlehem, New Hampshire, where I'm staying. So it was perfect. And then hiked back down in the dark alone, not a vibe. There was like one guy behind me, like I kept hearing him and like halfway through the hike, he goes, I just wanted you to know that I'm not chasing you. Like I'm not gonna kill you or anything. I'm like, that doesn't make me feel better. But thank you for displaying that you could outwardly feel my uncomfortability with the situation kind sir he didn't end up killing me so it's fine got back to the hotel room edited it a little bit and then went to bed at nine and woke up at eight so we are getting sleep this trip that's for sure no sun sunrise uh hikes for this girl um usually am a fan not a fan this trip i need to prioritize my sleep because i work the next six shifts which if you don't know six shifts is 12 to 13 hour shifts six of those in a row not a bad anyways i'm gonna stay here i'm checking out of the hotel i'm gonna grab breakfast and coffee right now and then um hit up a couple more stops. I wanna do Artist Bluff, Flume Gorge, and like the, the famous highway with like Hancock's Overlook. And then from there, I'll be like going south the whole day, I think. And then from there, I'll go to Boston later tonight back home. So that is the plan. We are off because I need caffeine and I need 